What's going on, my Nerd Army guys? Welcome to the newest episode of Exploring Comics. Tonight, guys, we will be focusing on the trickster, the god of mischief himself, Loki. So without further ado, guys, let's check out this insanely powerful villain. Before we get started, we will be focusing on the 616 Loki. Not Kid Loki, not Female Loki, but the 616 Universe Loki. One we all know and love. Loki was born the undersized son of the frost giant king, Laufey. Until he was adopted by the Allfather after Odin defeated Laufey. As Loki grew up, he actually started to become a mischievous child and started to have a hatred towards his older brother, Thor. Loki always put his best foot forward in everything he did, but in a society that praised strength, valor, and bravery above all else, Loki unfortunately fell short on all accounts. So knowing that, Loki decided to put his focus towards magic and science, which he was excellent at both. As a young child, he also played mean-spirited pranks on his brother Thor. One time he actually snuck into Thor's girlfriend's room, cut her hair, causing it to turn jet black permanently. As Loki had graduated to adulthood, you could actually see that his trickster ways were not behind him. He would eventually become the strongest magic wielder in the entire Asgardian realm. Loki's hatred for his brother Thor grew and grew over the years. This growing hatred would eventually spill out into Midgard and would cause Earth's mightiest heroes to gather together to fight him and form the superhero team, the Avengers. Yes, just like the MCU movie. So just like the MCU, Loki was the reason the Avengers were formed in the first place. With Loki being a master of the mystical arts, his power base is huge. He has tons of abilities. Let's start with the fact that Loki is half frost giant, but was raised on Asgard. His physiology is actually very similar to what a normal Asgardian would be. Except for the fact he has been seen to be able to lift 50 tons over his head. He has even destroyed an entire building with just one punch. But the frost giant side of Loki does give him an advantage because his stamina never drains. He has actually been seen to be able to fight 24 hours straight without being fatigued at all. His mastery of the mystic arts has actually helped him enhance a lot of his abilities. A normal Asgardian healing factor would allow him to heal about twice as fast as a human, but with the fact that he enhanced that, he's actually been seen to be decapitated and survive. Loki's mystical powers are for more than just upgrading his normal abilities. He's telekinetic, can project beams of light, can make astral copies of himself, he can teleport, he can shapeshift, and he's got a huge array of other abilities, way too many to name here. Loki really does have a silver tongue, as we hear Volstagg say in the MCU movies. He has an ability called All Speak, which gives him the ability to speak and understand every language known to the Nine Realms. Loki is one of the most ruthless villains in all of Marvel Comics, and has butted heads with just about everyone. He's not scared to take on the biggest and baddest. And I really can't wait to see what happens with Loki next. Well guys, let me know what you guys thought about the history of Loki and exploring comics. And let me know what you guys thought about that down in the comments down below, guys. I really enjoyed doing it. I love Loki as a character. He's just an amazing, amazing villain. And you can always be, know that when Loki's around, something crazy's going to happen. So let me know what you guys thought about Loki down in the comments down below. And let me know what you guys thought about the video also down there. Make sure you guys hit that like thumbs up button if you would be so kind. And make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up with me and all the other videos we do every week. Next week we will be doing the history of the Joker's daughter. Yes, Dula Dent, the Joker's daughter. We will be doing the history of this amazing character, so subscribe to keep up for next week's video. And as always, put your suggestions for any other characters you'd like to see done down in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Peace out. Wait guys, before you go, make sure you hit that big sexy subscribe button to keep up with us right here at Nerd Marized. And also, go check out all the other videos we have laid out in all the playlists we have set up. And I hope to see you guys next time right here on Nerd Marized. Stay nerdy.